I think in the new era of conservation farming, mice are going to be becoming an ongoing issue to us. For the last 10 years, we've basically practiced no-till farming. We've incorporated all our stubbles and residues, which I believe is sustainable and it's where we've got to be. Uh, unfortunately, this year, um, just due to huge mice numbers, we actually burnt a couple of paddocks. Uh, they were coming out of canola last year. Uh, we ended up baiting those paddocks three times and we still actually didn't really get the numbers down and just out of sheer frustration this year we burnt them which is certainly something we'd sooner not be doing. We don't actually run any livestock within our operation. I'm sure they have some benefits in terms of picking up any waste grain and reducing the food source. Unfortunately in our system they just really don't have a fit um, we try to keep all our stubbles standing and a lot of the country we farm has salinity issues and unfortunately they tend to bear out the saline areas so it just doesn't fit what we're doing. Stock running through through paddocks in the summer do pick up grain and, um, and reduce that food source. Our summer weed control program has been huge particularly in the last couple of years with wet summers. We're obviously aiming to control the summer weeds not only to maximise our soil moisture but also the, the mice feed on the melons and a lot of the cereal so it's also taking the food source away for the mice. During harvest we're trying to minimise our losses out of the header. Unfortunately we're trying to cut our stubbles a little bit lower so we're processing a lot of straw so sometimes that can be a bit challenging. We're now spraying all our summer weeds so we, we try and keep all our summer weeds to a minimum to keep the cover for the mice as little as possible. Inherently most of our stubble is left standing which does create an environment that's pretty conducive to mice.